Welcome to this video about the oil service maintenance on your smart car. So it's very easy intervention. You'll uh, soon figure it out. So remove the dipstick here and I'm using one of my favorite tools for servicing. It's actually uh, some sort of a suction device. So it has this special straw that you insert in place of the dipstick. Use the vacuum pump that is on on the device and it sucks the oil out from the top it's absolutely beautiful I love it so there you go just pump it away and uh, and let it do its work so um, it's wonderful and then after you can just go to your uh, recycling plant or whatever you have near your place to recycle the old oil it's wonderful now the oil filter you don't even have to raise the car and I'm actually using this rubber strap device that you would usually find in a kitchen to open jars so you know everybody has one of these lying around just uh, clean it properly afterwards and she'll never know that you borrowed it trust me now be ready to catch the oil that is contained within the oil filter uh, and again a suitable container ready for disposal at your local recycling plant be ready to catch it as it falls there you go because it's, uh, it, it's full of oil it doesn't contain much but uh, you know there you go just be ready to catch it all that's a good measure to at this point clean the lip of the um, oil filter support flange just wiping my hands there and be extra careful to push the dirt outwards Look at that stuff just hanging there. Push it outwards and not in. You really do not want any dirt or grime inside your engine. So be extra careful. Remove that stuff. Then grab your new oil filter and strongly suggest that you smear the uh, gasket with some fresh engine oil. I see it's uh, nice and oily and this is how easy it should fit you know spin on oil filter so to speak and tighten it as tight as you can by hand no more no less uh, you know it's it's not going to it's not going to run away there you go that's as tight as you want it if you uh, want to make sure uh, just make um, a small paint mark or use a, a felt or something of the like to make a mark like so and you you just have to bend down and take a take a quick look and see if it has moved if it makes you comfortable but there's no um, mechanical effort on these filters so you don't want to over tighten them it's a pain in the ass when people do that I absolutely hate it so removing the straw put the dipstick back in but before doing that also remove the loose dirt that is um, hanging around there again towards the outwards uh, of the engine you don't want anything falling in that would be a pain in the ass and just making sure I've sucked out all the oil and now's a good time to dust off the uh, filler cap area before removing it because I repeat you do not want dirt falling into your engine unless you want it to break so don't do it. Oil viscosity that is required is 5W30. I'm uh, not disclosing any makes because this video is not endorsed by anybody except myself. So choose whatever you make you like. Uh, just get 5W30 viscosity. You're going to need three and a half liters more or less. So fill that up very easily. Love the color of you know new fresh oil. It's uh, it's quite nice golden color and wipe it off make sure you screw the cap back on without forcing again you know make sure that it's properly screwed in get into the cabin stick the ignition on and check out the um, oil pressure telltale light there it is turn the engine on there you go and it should turn off there you go within a couple of seconds it should turn itself off that means the oil pressure is good if the oil pressure light stays on then you've done something wrong and um, you have to turn the engine off straight away unless you want to break it by the way this engine was manufactured by Mitsubishi I didn't know that until recently so there you go that's that for you 
Uh, talking about zeroing the service interval telltale device uh, took me quite a while but I eventually figured it out check it out in this next video um, it's a part of this service as well if you don't want it flashing in your face all the time just check out this video now check once the engine has uh, uh, stopped again after a couple of minutes just check the oil level top it up if necessary and there you go that's your oil service piece of cake what do you say? Bob's your uncle. Job done. Next. Make sure you check out all the other videos about the smart uh, car servicing. Um, and thanks for watching. Catch you all in the next video. Bye.